I thought it couldn't be done. And it may not be able to be done. But I want to do this. Skadoosh! Boom. I'm so good at that. I haven't seen that in like five years. And I was able to pinpoint it. I'm so good. Oh, okay. Now this game may shock you. For being one that I play. But listen, Doom 3 was also shocking. So we're going to roll with this. Um, there is indeed a gallery. Where you can see stuff. I'm guessing these are the movies that you get in the game. I don't know. Boy in the house. Welcome. Bree. How's it going? I haven't talked to you in a while. How's it how's it going? Uh the leaderboard on this game is obviously not hacked at all. I'm really happy to see that. It's pretty neat. Um Oh. My friends. Chris actually just beat this today on stream. He got five hours thirty nine minutes. That is the time we have to beat. And we're gonna do it. So Resident Evil. Let's do a new game. And if it's too loud, you should let me know. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know that. Chot it. I've heard my voice is very sultry and voluptuous. So I hope when I turn into a surfer dude, it it makes everything all better too. It's going swimmingly. Wow, that's very interesting that you say that. Right after I talk about a surfer person. Wow. It's crazy. It's like we're we're on the same wavelength. It's really quite insane. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. <laughs> uh I don't know what the difference is between these. Like, this is obviously going to be take, tank controls, but I'm not sure what they changed with it. So, we're going to go with the original version. Um, how do you like your games? I like them. Fulfilling, but takes a lot of work. Good exercise, but not too strenuous. You can relax and enjoy yourself. Huh. This must be the harder one. Okay, we're going to pick... This looks like the hardest difficulty. I want to make sure that we get all the achievements. So we're going to start with this one. And uh, we ain't about no man. Okay? We go with the lady. And we're going to put her in her Resident Evil 5 outfit. At first, I totally blanked. I bought that the voiceover was you. I was like, wow. Good. That is that is what I intend to have happen. Oh, he's so big. I don't know, man. I mean, obviously I'm not playing him because he's, first of all, oh, thought. Well, hey, bot... Would have also worked. But thank you for the correction. <laughs> um, I don't want to play as Chris because he's harder. I think I think his run through is harder. And he's, uh, he's not Jill. So those are two great reasons that you don't want to play as him. Okay, let's watch this, this film together, everybody. Oh yeah. Never mind. Alpha Let's... team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Rapid Everyone, City. Shh, be quiet. Where we are it's a video. For the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet, Brad. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate. 
But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. I didn't know derelict was a legitimate word like that. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. Oh no, Kevin. Whoa, oh, jeez. Turn the cameras off. Oh. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now Jill's costume is going to be different in this because this is not a pre rent This is a pre-rendered cutscene, I should say. It's not an in-game engine cutscene. It's not rendered in-game, so it won't show his uh, her costume. Kevin! Oh no. I wonder what's going to happen. Turn around. I bet there's a dog right behind you. <laughs> I wasn't really behind him. He was more like on his side. Oh. Wait, was, was he holding on to the camera the whole time? Or... What's, uh... Uh-oh! She's uh she's really taking this quite well considering that was her partner, I think. Oh oh no, now I better start taking it a little less well. Oh dear! Oh goodness! Come on! It's the three musketeers, but they're like dogs. Oh, this reminds me of Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, I think. Where they're running through these fields, these cornfields, and I was like, holy crap. That's a cool camera angle. Oh, no! That's a handball! Oh, Wesker! For the first and only time in the series, he's gonna be a hero. What is even the point? I, I'm sorry, that was maybe his point. And y'all is the. He don't know what y'all want, yeah. <laughs> Sorry! Oh my goodness! There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. <laughs> okay. How it go? What Yo, is this place? Not quite your ordinary house. Oh my goodness. That's for sure. Hey, Wesker. Where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... This is all what part of As <laughs> Asker's <This>? plan. <laughs> no. Albert Wesker's plan. Jill, go and investigate. Sunglasses at night her. equals inherently evil. You're not wrong. I go back a long you are not way. wrong. Nitty gritty right. city, welcome. You two go. I'll Much blood, area. very scary. Such me. Stay sharp. Yes. Yeah, Barry, blow that door open. Ah, oh, okay. All right, we gotta go into speed run mode. <clears throat> oh, oh, wow, crazy. Now my air conditioning turns on. Like Why do you do this to me? So, we're gonna pick this up real quick. Will you take it? Yeah, I'm gonna take it, dude. I'm gonna totally tie a cat, dude. We're gonna do it. <laughs> you can save your progress. Whoa! We're purple! That means we're on the, the most difficult setting. I can't wait to do whatever. I like I Jill. She's my favorite. What is it? It's not because she's pretty. It ha that helps, but it also helps that she's a great character. She's Jill, very strong see if you throughout the series. The clues. Even though in one game you have to this. take her away from being possessed by a guy, but that doesn't cases. count. She still kicked butt there. So, speaking of kicking butt, I actually got uh, I got the urge to play Resident Evil: The Mercenaries on the 3DS again, and. 
I have the game. I bought it when it came out, and I bought it because, I don't know. I was watching the Let's Play video I did of it, or Let's Try video, and it was so... I wasn't liking it at all. <laughs> um, I was really disappointed in it. I was like, why did I even buy this? But somehow, I had... I've acquired, like, 20 hours of gameplay out of it. Um, so I obviously ended up really liking it. Oh, no, it's Kenneth. Oh dear goodness! Ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. Gotta run! Gotta run, baby! Ooh. <laughs> um, my friend, I, I told my friend I tried this game out a little bit earlier, and I was in yellow. Like my health thing was in yellow because of this first monster guy, and I. uh... I told him about that, and he said, well, you don't have to actually kill him. It's probably a better idea to run away from him, because Barry's going to kill him anyways. And I was like, hey, look at that. That's a really good point, actually. So, yeah, there you go. We did it. Why did I save immediately, by the way? I think that was a dumb idea. Uh, let's go check. Oh, okay, fine. I guess we have to report back to Wesker. Um... <clears throat> These controls are hard to get used to. I'm serious. Uh, uh oh, what was that? So, with the Mercenaries 3D, I haven't played it in a while, but they only have one save file on it, and it's a save file that you cannot, you can't delete it. So you have to keep rebuying it if you want to get Jill, a new save file. For. Let's not leave this hall. I think there are ways you can like remove the battery or something. I don't know. Something about resetting it, but it's stuff that the end user shouldn't be doing. And I thought, oh, well, maybe the digital version would be a good idea to get because it's going to have. You can probably just delete the save file because it's on like the SD card or something, right? Well,. Yeah, that's true. I think so. Um, I don't know why... Why can't it just show the little thing where Lisa Trevor's with her chains and everything? Because you can't open this door right now at all. I guess you could say that for every door around here, actually. Whoa! So, I was thinking, hey, let's... Excuse me, how did you go... What's going on around here? What? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not Did much she we just, can do. like, go up the stairs? But search for him separately. I'm so I'll confused by this layout, I have to be honest. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. I like Barry Burton. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, um, I almost forgot. So I was thinking, hey, I should day. buy Mercenaries 3D on the 3DS, but I saw it was $20. And I was like, okay, that's too much. It's too much money for that game on the Thanks. 3DS. I may need it. Listen, if something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. But I then did this thing called looking online for a deal, and. Wouldn't you know it, Capcom is actually doing a sale right now on, um, on games on the 3DS and the Wii U. And one of those games happens to be Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D. And instead of $20, it's $5. But, guess what? There's another tale, or another part of this tale... There's a, there's another facet to this tale. Um, there's another game I've been wanting on the 3DS for a while. It's Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy. It was $30, and it's like, that's way too much, dude. But I looked at the sale, it's $11.99. So I'm thinking, okay, I should get that. But then if I get that, should I also get Mercenaries 3D? It's only $5 after all, but... I don't know, man. It was just, it was a lot of crazy stuff. I was not thinking that door would open. I don't know why I even opened it.
I don't know why I tried. I don't want to be out here. I don't like it. <laughs> We're gonna go back inside. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe you're supposed to go out there. I don't like it though because you're going outside and if you don't know anything about Resident Evil, going outside is a bad idea. Because when you go outside, that means enemies can come at you from any angle they want. Ooh, we did find something up here. Hmm. I used to have a Resident Evil GameCube strategy guide. Um, I think it's long gone at this point, but I kind of wish I kept it because it's it's uh, you know good memories, I guess. I remember with my sister's boyfriend, we were uh, he was over at the house. And he loved Resident Evil, and I got the game, and he was like, oh, dude, I, I can play it for you. And I'm like, oh, dude, awesome. I can't play it myself. So he played it, and he uh, I was like the strategy guide reader, and it was kind of fun. It was like using an atlas to try and travel the world, but instead of an atlas, it was a strategy guide. And instead of traveling the world, it was something arguably much less enriching. Uh, using defensive items such as daggers, I'm sure you read this already, we will not read it again. To equip a defensive item, go to the status screen and then select an item from the defensive item menu. Then select the equip command. If your defensive item mode is set to manual in the controller settings, you must press left bumper to use the defensive item. Um... Okay. It's funny, you know, I read it, but I didn't really read it. So I didn't know what that meant. Okay, we got it, though. Oh, it already equipped it. Sup? We so good. Okay. Now, when he gave us this lockpick, did he say that we're the master of unlocking? Or did they take that line out? I think they took a couple lines out, and that's really sad. In fact... I'm not sure. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I just thought of a great pickup line. Hey girl, are you in perfect health at the Resident Evil status screen? Because you're fine. <laughs> Sorry. Anyways. Hmm. Okay, let's go forward. Try to forget that we ever made that joke. Do I hear something? Do I hear... Is there a zombie around here? Hey, Mr. Zombie. Oh, no. Oh, yay! I forgot about this. We gotta push this off. Uh-oh. Please don't ban me. Um. Okay, I'm gonna just push that real quick. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna actually get away from you. I'm gonna circle around. I don't want to kill anything in this game. This is a full pacifist playthrough. We won't kill any single thing. It seems Nitty Gritty City has reacted to the pickup line and he enjoyed it very much. I appreciate your patronage. Okay. There we go. Now, where is... Mr. Zombie Man. Oh, he's right there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We just gotta push this down, just like that. Uh, oh, oh, no, Jill, Jill, please push, push down. Uh, okay, we good. Alrighty, let's go the other way. One good thing about not killing any enemies is that hey, you don't have to worry about them turning into another thing that is a spoiler and we won't talk about it because it's a spoiler. Oh, come on, really? You just had to block the door, didn't you, bro? Oh, you want a hug, don't you? Well, it's too late. You had your chance. You don't get any hugs from me anymore, man. I'm no longer your flame. I am a flame broil. What am I talking about? Ooh, okay. This one has a helmet, I think, right? Or armor? Helmet. 
Dang it. I'm gonna guess helmet. Ooh! You can't make anything out through the darkness and the fog. Ooh. In oil painting in a large frame, the paint is dried and cracked. Oh. It's locked. An emblem of armor is carved into it. Oh my gosh. Why are you even doing this to me? Uh, it's locked. An emblem of a sword. Oh my gosh. Can you let me lay off though? Uh. <laughs> it's locked. A helmet! Hilarious! What's next? The gauntlets? Wonder what's on the other side of this door. Hmm. I don't know. That's very strange. Wow. This game, I, I was talking to Chris about this, but this game, for a game that was on GameCube, and one that is trying to go for hyper realism in its graphics, it looks so good. This game has aged better than any other game I know of that went for hyper-realistic graphics in that era. Or any hyper-realistic game I know of. Honestly. It just, it looks so good. <laughs> I love it. What I don't love is that I don't know where I'm going. But I don't want to use a guide. I know I said that I wish I had a strategy guide, but it was more for the memories. Like I said, it's not for actual utility. I want to figure this out on my own. Now you would think that I would have figured it out by now. Because I've watched this game played through so many freaking times. But there's this thing called when you watch something, it's different than actually playing it. Thus... I don't remember much about it. <laughs> That's all. Um, there's certainly nothing that's going to happen by us going back here and picking this up. Interesting game design decision, actually. Huh. Interesting. Oh, no! Whoa, dude! Oh, gosh! I just want some... I want a hug! Ooh, juked! Oh gosh! Stab him! Ugh, he's dead. That's right. Get out of here. Ooh, I'm gonna block you in, sucker. I'm gonna block you. No, Jill, Jill, please, please, push. Oh, the bookcase. Oh my gosh. The dresser. Thank you. Okay, we're good. Now just make sure it's pushed nice and tight. There you go. Okay, we're good. We're good, everybody. A little spooky, but we, we did it, and everything is a okie doke. Okay, I think we actually do need to... Oh! Oh my gosh, you have something sticking out of your head, man. Hey! <laughs> he can't get over here, you're so stupid. Look at you, you dummy. You're such a dummy. Hey, hey, dummy. <laughs> hey, dummy. You want some more? <laughs> That's right. You douchebag. Okay, anyways. Hey, let's uh, let's exit and re-enter to respawn that bookcase. See if we can squeeze behind it and then push it forward because we are able... I remember we're supposed to do something... And then we pick something up out of that little statue. Minus one pacifist. Oh. No! Do not push it. Unlike a salt and pepper song. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now... Can I... Ugh, I thought you could pick up the defense. No! 
Can I not go in? Oh, yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. There we go. Yeah! Fatality. Okay. Um. Boy, I don't know where to jump to, though. I think this is what we're doing. Is that what we do? Yeah? And then check out Ophiakis, the Serpent Bearer. Yeah, look at that. I'm so good. I did it. I did it. That's right. First try. Oh, dear. This is actually a monumental thing for me to be able to, like, to be tr actually thinking of playing this game all the way through. It's really, really, really special. Because, again, I played this game for... I mean, I've... I've uh, I've watched people play this game for years, ever since it came out. And this was back in 2002, if I'm not wrong. Um, and I've always thought in the back of my head, like, there's no way I'm going to be able to play it for myself for some reason. Like, there's... It's not so much that it's scary, it's more that there's a lot of resource management. It's, it's scary in a different way, I think, is what's happening. And I'm not good with resource management. Which is why I didn't want to kill that enemy up there. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We dropped that thing, didn't we? <laughs> Whoop the <laughs> Hello, Mr. Statue. What's this? It's the blue tiger gem. <laughs> oh dang it. Oh, what's up here? <gasps> is there something up here? Will you take the emblem? Yes. Maybe. Oh yeah, not just resource management, but also um, like conserving ammo and everything. You also have to worry about your item space, because in your on your person you only have so many slots that you can put items into. Uh, with Jill, I think you have two extra, or that might just be the easy mode, which I definitely didn't pick because obviously I picked the hardest one. Um, the I know Chris, when I was watching Chris play Chris's story today <laughs> on his stream, he has six slots for items. Whereas you saw we have eight. So there's a, there's that whole thing. From the status screen, select an item. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah? Is that so? Let's check it out. Let's move it to the back. Oh, nothing. Let's move it to the front. Ooh, nothing. I thought, I thought maybe there would be a. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's that? <gasps> hold on, what's that? Nothing. That is a very unusual notch to have on the caddy corner side of this. Okay, there's nothing special going on. I thought we were supposed to get, like, a key from this. Oh. Zoom in. Nothing unusual. Are we not... I'm so confused. Okay, maybe we're not supposed to... care about that or something. I don't know. Hey, what's this? Oh. It's a statuette. Um, I'm really scared about not saving, so we're going to go save real quick. <laughs> uh, even though I should definitely be careful about that, because this game has... It doesn't have unlimited save points, or saves... It doesn't have unlimited saves. These ink ribbons, they let you save a certain amount of times per ink ribbon. And right now, this will be... We'll have four left for this one. I think. And I'm a little worried about that, obviously. That was another thing. If you noticed in my in my playthrough of Doom 3, I utilize the save system, the quick save system, a lot. So many times <laughs> did I did I use it. And uh Yeah. It was So what I'm trying to say is I know 
I, I use saving too much. It's a crutch. Uh, so in a game where you are literally not allowed to save a bajillion times, it's scary for me. But I think in this mode there are more ink ribbons, and the ink ribbons do let you save more often. A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast of one knight, while the long sword has pierced the head of the other. Huh. That looks like it could be a puzzle to do with the clock. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. Okay, apparently we can't do anything with the clock. Okay, whatever. Can you at least move it, though? Am I thinking of a different game? I could have sworn you could move this thing. Give it to me. Come on. No, no, no. Okay, Jill. Jill! Jill! There. Okay, no, it doesn't look like you can. Hmm. I thought maybe this is something that happens later. Because I, I know there's something to do with this clock. And I'm thinking you have to do like three o'clock on the dot or something for it to open. Alrighty. Let's do it, eh? Wait, wait, are there any other paintings we need to investigate? Anything over here? I thought it was an item box for a second there. Okay. Alright, that's fine. Oh nice. Look at all that that melted wax right there. Wait, I don't think that's... No, it's, it's like a glass that was broken. Okay. Whatever. Surprise, GameCube. Uh, YT didn't come in here telling me, Hey, you're not Australian. You're a fake. It's like, little does he know that I was born in Australia. It's where I was born. Yeah. Hey, Kenneth. Oh, dear heavens. What happened to you, buddy? Tell me everything. Looks like he's holding something. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Ah! Oh! Come on, dude. Really? <gasps> it's a door. Oh, hoo -hoo! it's a door. It's a door that opens. Um, oh, this is so scary. I don't like it. Uh, with the... With the door opening animation, I, I know that this is, like, well-known information that most people watching this probably already know, if not all of you. But uh, the loading screen, the loading screens in the game are actually those opening the door animations. And I thought that's, it, it was really groundbreaking, I think, for the time, because it made the game feel seamless. There wasn't a loading screen. Oh, so desune, yes. I will gladly take that. Hey, this guy's dead. He's dead. <gasps> What's this? Tapping into my Jack Skellington again. Uh, boy. Yes. And yes. And then we combine them to make that. We did it. We have beaten Resident Evil. Answered every puzzle. Solved every question. Reverse those, and it works. D E D. Dead. I don't know where that's from, but I have heard that before. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, dear heavens, that's a that's a bad man. Oh my gosh, there's a guy right there. If you see him in the mirror, <laughs> you can see him right there. Oh, he's just looking at... What's up? Yeah, what's up? I won't bother you, dude. Don't worry. You good. You can keep looking in the mirror. I don't mind. I don't judge, either. 
You think I might judge you? I definitely do not. <laughs> Will you take the golden arrow? Not yet. Will you take the ammo? Yes. As long as it combines with my other ammo. It does. Okay, good, good, good. That's what I like to see here. Uh, okay, I should probably pick up that arrow, I just realized. Oh my gosh, that scared me, dude. Holy crap. That was my, uh, that was my reflection that time. Okay. Hey, I've been scared by my own reflection before. It, it happens. I'm sorry, I'm not perfect. I'm not gonna burst into song again. I unlocked it. <gasps> cool. Is there an item box per chance? So I can offload the stuff that I don't need right now? Oh, it's him! Hey! Hey there! <laughs> oh, hey! Carl! That kills people! It's locked from the freaking other side. You Henstridge! Natasha Henstridge, why would you do this to me? Uh, I think there is a door I didn't go in, isn't there? Oh no, I don't like this. Hey, yo, get over here. Let me shoot you in the face. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> That's right. Okay, no, that was that was a waste of a bullet. Thought maybe you could shoot him in the head on the ground, but no. Combine blue gemstone. That's right. We have so much stuff in here that we don't need. I can guarantee you, we don't need right now, at least. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, we already went here. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Now this man is a bad boy. This man is going to wake up eventually and we are going to be very sad when he does. I don't want to spoil it. But he's a bad boy. He's a good demonstration of what the other bad boys in the game are like. Death is only the beginning. Uh, Boy, this does not look... Promising. Um. Okay. Sure. Why not? Oh. Okay. No. I don't want to step on it. Uh. Oh. Wait. What happens if we. Oh gosh. It scared me again. Dude. I am too scared. <laughs> May whoever takes this emblem find peace in death. It's a little rude. It also feels grammatically incorrect, isn't it? May whomever. It did not ask if I wanted to take it. Oh dear gosh. I I can't take it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. I suck at this game. What if I use the herbs? <laughs> Which is a really bad... You don't want to get into that strategy of, oh, if I can't use... If I can't pick up any more items, maybe I should just use my healing items. It's not a good idea. But despite that, we're going to use it. Because we need to progress, dude. And I'm not gonna go all the way back there. Get out of here. <clears throat> Will you take the mansion key? Yes. What are the- Oh, you! Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, heavens. Oh heavens! Oh heavens! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Wait! 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 Hold on! Hold on! Can I put this in there? No! Oh my gosh! We're dead! We are so dead! We are literally going to die! Can I put this here? 
Okay. Um, can I combine? Examine. Let's examine this real quick. Quick. Um, you're great at this game. You just gotta not die. So far, success. <laughs> uh, I might have spoken too soon, man. <laughs> I think we're about to die. Uh, I mean, okay. So let's put this back. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So, that sucked. <laughs> we used up our herbs to get place, make way for this, and now when we picked it up, we can't Okay, so I think we need another key or something. Like, there's another thing where you need a certain item. When you pick up the real item, it does the same kind of thing. It activates a trap. So you got to get a broken version of that item. So I'm wondering if we have to do something like that. But at this point, I don't know what I'm missing. There's... <gasps> Wait. Hold up. <laughs> we didn't examine this, did we? Okay. I wonder if that's what we need to put it... No, I don't think... Mm. We can try it again, but I doubt it. That's the part that spooked me the most right there. No. Okay. Put it back. Sorry. Okay. Um. Okay. So we obviously... <sighs> okay. Alright. That's fine. I was about to turn the corner. That would have been hilarious. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just another night. Death is only the beginning. Usually that inscription would actually mean, hey, we should die. Like, we're supposed to die on that part. And then Barry saves us, and he's like, oh, you were almost a Jill Filet. And then, yeah, so... I don't know if I should be picking up those herbs either. I don't know, man. I'm scared. I'm freaking out right now. Okay. So we have the the thingamahoochee. We have the arrowhead. Not really sh Oh my gosh, that shadow, dude. <laughs> the shadow dancing of the chandelier on the staircase. Oh. Ooh. Okay, maybe we are supposed to go outside. <laughs> if we are, then... Oh, wait, we haven't even tried any of these doors, have we? That's the door we came in from. Let's see what's this... Oh, gosh, it's a guy! Hey, what's up, guy? Hey, what's up? Hey, stand back! Stand back! Stars! Oh, gosh! Oh... <laughs> that scared me. I don't like it. It's locked. Armor, of course. Of course it's armor. It's horse armor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm even talking about. Oh. Okay, what's up? Yeah, go down there. It's locked, of course. A sword. Wow. Okay. There is a good chance that we are lost. But again, 
Let's maybe go outside again. <laughs> Try that out real quick. Wait, can I just put this back on there? Oh. Okay. Cool. Nice. I don't have to worry about it then. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and... This way. I don't like this door. Something about that door scares the heck out of me, man. Okay, now how's where's my flashlight? <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke. It's obviously there is no flashlight. It's locked from the other side. Okay. What is the purpose of coming out of here then? Uh... Oh my gosh. This is awful. A crumbling tombstone. There's no name or inscription. Maybe it says Jill Valentine. <gasps> Did I just think up the greatest plot twist of all time? I think... I think we're truly lost. <laughs> uh... I'm... I don't know, man. Nitty Gritty City, are you... Are you into these games at all? Oh jeez, sorry. I was walking into a wall. Yeah, sword, sword, sword. All of it's a sword. Armor, armor, armor. Always the armor. I am good at none of the games. Okay, I see. Well, hopefully, watching my playthrough is helping you feel a little better about yourself. <laughs> hmm. We've made, like, no progress, though. That's... <clears throat> That's the worrisome thing for me! Oh, jeez! Oh, my heck. What a waste. That was a real... A real waste of ammo and the thing that's like... So, so, something, you know? Like, oh, come on, dude. Emblem of the sword. Okay. Hmm. Well, at least you know this is a blind playthrough, right? <laughs> Um, can I try to put the arrowhead on him? No. Wait, did we examine this little cherub? Doesn't look like we can. Hmm. One thing that's good about Chris Redfield is that he has, um, he starts with a lighter, I believe, and that is instrumental in mitigating the presence of certain things. Wait. 
Okay, so we did go in here, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't understand. What am I missing? <laughs> Can I push it? <laughs> uh, investigating the walls, seeing if maybe there's a way to keep one of them open. Even though that wouldn't really matter, would it? Mm. I... Would it be stupid to grab the key? And pretend that I'm going to die, but I don't actually die? No, I think I'm going to die because while the track stops around here, I think the spikes on the other one spikes on this other guy they extend too far out I will die from that but I was thinking maybe it's a fake out Oh, the typewriter one. That's, um, like the dining hall area is, uh, the only reason it's red is because we haven't done the, the clock puzzle thing, I think. Um. Can you disable Spike Man first? I could try. And I would think, oh, well, obviously the spike man's going to stop at the block, but again, when you pick up the key, it pushes the block down, so he would move forward. Um, I don't want to miss thing. Um, nope, just ominous. Yeah. What is this guy doing down here? I know we read this, but... Hmm. I'm not... Not sure. Oh dear. Oh, his his fingernails look like they're growing quite a bit. That's not good. Okay. Map. 
Okay, so we have everything we need here. Although, wait, the one we were just in... Hold on. The one we were just in says there might still be stuff we're missing. I think, right? Am I reading that correctly? Yeah. I would think it's because, oh, we haven't unlocked all the doors, but as you can see, one area below the flashing one is green, and there's a red door in there. So we might just be missing something in here. I hope it doesn't have to do with this guy right here. <laughs> I don't like him. I'm sorry. He's just, he's really rude, and I don't like him. I was thinking maybe we have to put the arrowhead on one of these things, but I don't... Maybe we have to put the arrowhead on something in here, though. I wonder... Wait, 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 wait... Oh. I thought it was shining. Hmm. Jump down. Okay. <sighs> this playthrough is going terribly so far. I just want everyone to know that. I mean, I'm having a great time. I'm having fun. I just hope that that fun is translating well to you guys, because I know that um, watching someone walk in circles is not, not my definition of fun. Like, sure, I'm having fun running in circles, but are you guys having fun watching me run in circles? That is where the disconnect occurs. Okay. The door kind of looks like an owl there. Do we already go in here? Horse. It's a sword. Woman drawing water. Quite indeed. Man sculpting, man drawing. I mean, dang it. Man sculpting, woman drawing water. There you go. And then person viewing draw woman drawing from water sculpted. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, it's pretty stupid either way. Wait, there is... Okay. We go down here. Isn't there another area, though? No. Okay. Okay. Since I have no idea what to do... We're going to save again, because that's just what we do nowadays. We're going to save. And 
then we're gonna we're gonna try and pick up that key <laughs> and see if it's a false charge or something. You know how some bears, I forget what type of bear, but they can uh, chase after you, but if if you hold your arms up, they it's sometimes they're false charging. I don't, I'm not really in the mood to try and put my arms up to stop a bear and find out that it wasn't a false charge, it was indeed an actual charge. So I don't know, I can't verify this information, but it's something that I did here. Uh, that's locked from the other side, okay. Um... Wait, where was the room that we wanted to go to? Nope, not there. Oh, it's in here, right? Okay. I hope so. <clears throat> okay. So we saved. Now I'm I'm noticing there's no blood on this. There's no blood on this these spikes. So I'm hopeful. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be daring. Here we go. Here we go. Wait! Hold up. One second. What if Oh yeah, we're, we're definitely dead. But let's examine it just in case. It's armor, right? Armor key, nice. Okay. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Okay, well, here we go. Oh, let's hope this was the right idea. Oh. Um. Mm, mm, yeah, I'd say that was the right idea. I think we we got it. I got an achievement called "Get Used to It." <laughs> it's probably for dying once or something. Okay. So that wasn't the way to do it. <laughs> it's what you're telling me. Uh Maybe I should have tried shooting at it. What is that emo? <laughs> ah. I don't know what I'm missing. Clap hands. Oh, I gotcha. Gotcha. Sorry. I If there's one thing I'm worse at than navigating a single mansion, it's deciphering what certain emot emoticons mean. Hey, yo, he's my girl. He's loafing. He's loafing on the couch. Hello. Okay. Just because I am a hundred percent sure that there's nothing else we can do, I'm gonna. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it again. No, we're not. Is there a way to like glitch it or something? <laughs> uh. 
Uh, okay. What if... We examine it. It's the armor key. Oh, dear heavens. Okay, and then we use it. Does that do anything, or...? No. I feel so stupid. <laughs> I don't know what to do! I, I feel like I went everywhere that I can. Obviously I didn't. This is awful. Can you charge past while the trap is activating? Now that's an interesting one. That's... Okay. I doubt it. <laughs> but we can try. No, I don't... I don't think so. We'll try it. I mean, there's nowhere to go but down at this point. I mean, up. That's the saying. Nowhere to go but up. But, um, no, we could try that. Let's check that out. I don't think so, though, because it has, like, a... It's on a track. And already in that scene, the, the track... Is, I mean, it's, it's already completely obstructing the track when, uh... When the cutscene starts, doubt, yes, much doubt, very scare. Because when the cutscene starts up, it moves over here. Like there's no way to go anywhere, and then we can't go this way because this guy blocks it. We could try it though. Uh. Wait, what? Oh, hold on, hold on. Wait, there. Uh. I mean, it's not killing me automatically there. That's good. Uh. I mean, now it's gonna kill me automatically. <laughs> that squish sound, dude. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> I know I go, I get after MBF for using strategy guides. I mean, I'm joking, kind of, sort of, but um, there's a part of me that likes it when people don't use strategy guides, but at the same time, I'm trying to maintain some entertainment value here, and this game is not doing its job. You couldn't go down the stairs? No. No, not at all. Because once it starts up, it covers that the stairs. Like, there's no way, as far as I know. Did we get everything in here? We got everything in here, apparently. Although...
Wait. Oh, I think those lines are just drawn poorly. I was going to say there is a big area right there next to that blink flashing one, but I don't think so. Oh, dear heavens, please, Chris, don't watch this playthrough. <laughs> I told him one of the things I was scared about playing this game on stream is that people might come in here that know a lot about this game and will get very frustrated by it. And he was like, don't worry about that, dude. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> uh, if we go out here... Uh, Jill, you were supposed to close that door, you dummy. She was supposed to close that door. Obviously, she didn't train so well in stars. <clears throat> if it helps, I know nothing about this game. <laughs> it's funny, that does help with the, the anxiety that people are going to hate watching this. But it doesn't help with regards to actually progressing in the game. <laughs> am I miss... What am I missing? <laughs> Okay, examine. I feel like we're supposed to know something about this because it tells us how to examine it. It didn't just tell us to examine it so we can learn more about the, the crest on it, right? I don't get it. It's galled all around the outer edges due to frequent fitting. Oh, the gall thing. Okay. I see. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about what to do. Oh, because I turned around. Because I'm a silly, silly panda. No, I don't want to take it. I don't want to take it. No. missing oh my gosh what is in the typewriter room oh wait we already talked about that it's probably the clock thing but what else mm. okay, we already went down there we can't go in That one is locked. I don't know, nitty gritty. This game might not be good for the stream right now. Because, uh, uh... Or at the very least, maybe I should watch... Watch a walkthrough for research purposes as opposed to entertainment purposes. Am I sure that I didn't miss anything out here? Are you saying it's time for Donkey Kong? 
Not necessarily. I'm talking more like... Oh, wait. We didn't go here. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Um, I was talking more like for the main, like the far future. I don't know if this is a good game for us to play on stream. Okay, what, what is this? <gasps> the book is fitted perfectly. Yes, I will take the Book of Curses. What a great idea. Thank you. Examine. <gasps> oh my gosh. We found something. It's a key. Book of Curses. The Four Masks. A mask that speaks no evil. A mask that smells no evil. A mask that sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. When all four fall into place, evil will awaken. Okay, well I guess we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just gonna go get this key fitted into that freaking thing. I think that's what we need. Wait. Where am I going? <laughs> uh, um, oh, this way. Right? Wait, that's the way I was... Oh my gosh. What am I doing wrong? Oh, what's this? Take the shotgun shells? I mean, probably not. Nah. Not right now. Four? Uh, what do you mean? Four? Four? Four... Dude, what the heck? What is going on with me? Where? Oh my gosh, okay. I, I got it. I got, wait, there's something shiny over there. Oh, we already know what it is. I mean, we don't. We know that we can't get it, I think. Assuming it's the same thing. Speak, see, smell, all four fall into place. Yeah, they're, uh, they're... The three you mentioned, speak, see, smell, but then there's one that's all three of them, which is the fourth one. If that makes sense. I, I think that's what it was saying. Oh yeah, let's make sure this doesn't have anything else to it. Oh dear, it does. Okay. Huh. It's a sword key, huh? The sword. That was up here, I think. Ugh. No, this is... Where is this? <clears throat> okay, it's locked from the other side. Yeah, that, that is true. Armor. Oh, heck. What is it? What have we done?
Dude, that armor key gonna open so many places for us. Dog whistle? Oh dear heavens. No. Oh gosh. Oh no. Okay. Oh dear, get out of my face, you freak. Okay. Um well I am positively worried about this playthrough. I don't know if it's the time yet. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, I don't... Uh, oh, man. I don't know. This is... This is going to be quite the challenge for me, even though it's on the easiest difficulty. Um, I don't... Uh, I don't know, dude. <clears throat> oh, fuel canteen. Wait, we need to fill that up and start burning sh stuff. Okay, um, hey, so, I think, 